What is up, Aries? This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node, you guys. Okay. We already got two jumpers. The number two could be significant. So you have the four of wands and the hang woman. Wow. Okay. Let me get that away. Damn. Okay. Aries, um, before I, I started your reading, I did get this energy, the urgency to tell you that it was all a blessing in disguise. Okay, it's all a blessing in disguise. Um, yeah, see, I, I feel like I'm right. I'm right about this. All right, so you have the Nine of Cups in the, in the outcome. It's in reverse. It's a blessing. Okay, if you're not getting, there's something you're not getting, and, and it's okay. It's like, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you pass it up. I'm hearing you pass up this offer because you know that there's something attached to it. You know there's something low vibrational attached to it. Oh my gosh, hold on one second. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I get so frustrated. It's my OCD. It's my OCD. I'm trying to like, gosh, man. All right, so like, okay. Ugh. You're passing up this offer. I feel like this is something you wanted for a long time, Aries, but you're passing it up. You know there's something better coming in for you, especially with the four ones. Like you know what you were, you know your value, you know your worth. Yeah. I know I'm hearing like, oh my god, I know, um, I don't know what his sign is. I think he's a Virgo or a Libra. He looks like a Virgo. He kind of gives me Libra vibes too, but like uh, Mr. Beast. I don't know what he I, I forget what he was selling. I forget what they were trying to buy from him. I think they were trying to buy his like platform or something. I don't know. But he's worth billions, okay? He probably makes a billion dollars a month or something. They wanted to pay him $1 billion for whatever it is. I forget what it was, but like, this is just an example. I feel like there's something that people want from you. They're trying to get something from you for super cheap. I don't know if this is something you're selling, but like for, for some reason, they feel like they could buy it from you. They, they feel like they could buy it from you real cheap, knowing that it's worth more. And then you know they know this. You know they know this. I feel like they're, you're not selling. I feel like you're not a sellout. Also, these people are, right, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse in the position of how you're being seen. It's like, you don't have time to argue. I feel like you're not going to argue. I feel like you're not going to negotiate. You're emotionally, you're emotionally detached. You're not even, you're like, so like, I feel like your head is like on straight. Like your head, you're just, your, your mind is nor here nor there, but it's like, you know what you want, you know what you deserve and you're not willing to settle. All right. You have two nines mirroring, you have two nines mirroring and you have two knights mirroring. Okay. The number nine could be significant or night. I'm hearing night, night time. You could have just did like a manifestation ritual during the Virgo full moon. I'm hearing the Virgo full moon or the Leo full moon is it the Leo full moon, new moon, new moon or full moon. I forget Okay, we just had it like a day ago, like two two days ago. Yeah, Virgo, I'm hearing Virgo new moon or Virgo full moon. I don't really know what, what it was, you guys. I don't follow the moon cycles, but I'm hearing like you do, you did a manifestation ritual and what you're, gonna, what you're manifesting is something that you actually want and you're waiting for that, okay? I'm hearing it's coming in. You're gonna be celebrated here. This is an opportunity of a lifetime is what I'm hearing. Also, I'm hearing... Um, with the Princess of Pentacles, something about your accolades, okay? Your academic um, academic background, okay? Yeah, I feel like someone is going through, like, your... Like, something... I'm hearing your... um, What is it called? Like, your SAT score? Someone's SAT scores? There's somebody um high rank going through your SAT scores, and you don't, you're not aware of this, okay? <laughs> you might be, you might be, but I see you not being aware of this, okay? I see you not being aware of this. And I feel like, um, I, I, well, you have two nines, you have two fours. Okay, you have two fours, two nines, all right? Yeah, and you have two princes, you have two pages here. The number two could be significant. Again, two cards came out. You guys saw the two cards that came out, right? The number two could be significant. Also, the two of pentacles is in the position of how they feel about you. So I feel like someone's going to come in on a two day or on a Tuesday. And they're going to give you a message about your SAT scores or something that they've been looking at from like 10 years ago. Something that you did 10 years ago, someone is looking at it and they're like really impressed and they cannot believe people have not been like giving you this job or they feel like you, you've got, you're jumping through hoops and you don't need to. And they're like, come over here. They're, they're like, just like, come over here with us. We're going to take you because we know your, they know your value Aries. Okay. I feel like this is a label for some of you. This is a label. If you're in an in industry, we do have the devil here. That is the industry. Okay. 
this is i feel like it's because you're young <laughs> wow there's so many downloads coming through okay so like this is this is the obstacle position this is what's getting in your way aries you are the baby you are the baby. You're the baby. Okay. So like it's in the obstacle position. It's saying there's someone around you who, who underestimated you because you're younger than them. Aries. All right. If you're a Scorpio, put a generation Aries son. I feel like somebody's like afraid of you. <laughs> they're afraid of you because you're younger than them or they're like, they underestimated you. And I feel like, oh wow. They're realizing this. They're realizing this. Okay. Yeah. There's someone here who kind of passed you up. Um, they pass up the opportunity to work with you. We do have the Four of Cups, which talks about missed, op missed opportunities. Four of Cups can talk about missed opportunities. It does say miss me on it, okay? It says, baby, come back. <laughs> baby, come back. Mm. I don't really know on me. There was something, and I just can't get it now, do. I don't know the lyrics. I'm sorry. <laughs> shout out to Mocha. I know she knows the lyric to that. Um, shout out to Mocha. If you guys have, that have not checked out Mocha's channel, check out her channel. She's a great singer. Um, I, yeah, I see something about you being an artist. Someone's here. Someone here is an artist. They're a singer. Um, they have a really beautiful voice. Or you're a rap artist. You're a rap artist. Okay. There's something that you're doing, and I feel like too because you're so innovative. I feel like it's something that you're doing that's innovative that has to do with your music. Somebody's like somebody does not know that you what you're embodying. They do not know what you have inside of you, Aries, and that is what's like. Oh my God. But I see someone else looking at like your scores or something that you did back in the day. Maybe this was like a freestyle. I'm seeing like a video or a, like a link. Someone's sharing a link like, hey, check this out. Like a video you did years ago or um, like, I don't know. I'm seeing iTunes. I'm seeing um, Apple Play. What is it called? What is Apple? What is it called? Like where they go put Spotify. I'm seeing all that stuff right now. Like somebody is going back to like something that you did years ago. And you're like, man, that, that's old. You're like, man, that shit is old as hell. And someone's like, oh my God, nobody's take, nobody signed you yet. Aries, I feel like you should just sign. I feel like you should just stick to yourself. Okay. Cause I feel like they're going to give you the exposure you need, but like, I feel like, I don't know why, like, this is just advice. Okay. And I, and you don't have to take it. You don't have to take it because I, I don't, I don't know a lot about this stuff. Okay. I don't know about the, the music industry and I don't know the dangers of it or you know what happens, but I see a lot of stuff happen to artists. I see them, them, them being controlled and they can't even use their own voice and stuff. I, I'm, I'm being urged to tell you to think about it before you do it because there's a contract here. We have the two of pentacles is in the reverse with the 10 of wands. There's a lot of people who want your, there's a lot of people who want you Aries. Yeah. They want you. They want something they can't have. That's the thing. It's like they want something they can't have because you are a missed opportunity. You are a missed opportunity. I feel like they missed out on you. Now you have like, I'm hearing too, your platform is going to go viral because of you and you only. So you don't need anybody, Aries. You don't. You really don't. That's what Aries is. Aries is number one. Aries is the individual, the pioneer. You don't need anybody. You don't. You rule innovation. You don't need to. Especially if you're like Aries, Jupiter, Aries, North Node. Or you at 12th house, Pisces. Um, Aries, Jupiter, 12th house or Aries, North Node. Okay. 12th house, 11th house. You don't need anybody, Aries. You don't. You really don't, okay? Um, I feel like there's somebody around you, though, that's going to try to make you think you're missing out. They're going to try to instill FOMO. They're going to try to, like, make you feel like you're not going to be able to do it without them, okay? It's an illusion because they're worried. It's an illusion. Yeah, nine of cups. It's an illusion, okay? Because they're worried. <laughs> they're the ones who are like, fuck, I need this Aries, you know? Um, yeah, you're going to be celebrating here with the four of wands. Others of you, um, if you're in the in the twin flame dynamic, I don't want to bring up twin flames because I feel like it's toxic, but yeah, um, there's something about your twin flame coming on a Tuesday or a two-day. The number 11 is significant. 11, 11, you could be seeing 11, 11, 11 on the clock. We know that's child's play. We know that's child's play. If you're, if you're seeing 11, 11, you're probably a newbie. <laughs> You're probably a newbie because uh been there, done that. I'm, I'm well, I don't even know why I even bring this up anymore. But 11 11 shows up a lot when you are on the right path or when you are on the verge on the verge of a spiritual awakening. Okay, it also talks about being between realms. 11 11 is a portal, it's a portal between this realm and the next realm, the astral realm. Okay, so um, that is the energy you are embodying to Aries. You could be Aries Jupiter 12th house, or you could have like Aries, um, you could have um, like strong Pisces, Moon, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, moon placements. I'm hearing Virgo. Okay. I'm hearing Virgo. Virgo. I always think of Virgo because Virgos are um, mystics. They're shamans. Okay. They're psychics too. Pisces. <laughs> Aries, you are the head. So like naturally. Yeah. Um, I'm also seeing Leo. We have Capricorn here. Okay. Um, who else is here? Pisces is here. Obviously we have Pisces here. Double Pisces mirroring with the Princess of Cups and the Hangwoman. They're mirroring. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so Aries, are you second-guessing yourself a lot? They're telling me you're second-guessing yourself. 
They think you, you're telling yourself you may not be good for something. No, you are good. You are good enough. You are you're more than good enough. All right. I feel like you're getting in your head. That's what somebody wants. All right. That's somebody wants. Um, if somebody could have uh, planted a seed. Yeah, a friend. This is a friend who planted a seed. They wanted you to like. They said they said something to you. All I had to say is one thing. They try to like make you feel insecure about one of your facial features, especially around your face, Aries, because you are the face. Oh hell no! There's just somebody trying to like t like come for your nose or your eyes or your lips or something like that. Um, maybe your ears, maybe your ears. Okay. But they planted a seed. Oh, between your ears, between the eyes. I don't want to hear right between the eyes. Could be a Sagittarius. Why would they say that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same old Sagittarius. I don't know why this is someone, because you know they're the only one with the weapon, right? I feel like this is someone who um, knows how to use their weapon, but like they don't know that you're an Aries. <laughs> you're Mars. You are the war, the god of war, okay? Like Aries is the god of war, ruled by Pluto, ruled by Mars. Yeah, um, they don't know that you know how to transmute that energy because you are also the magician. Hello. Hello. <laughs> who do you think you're talking to? Like you think I don't know what you're trying to do? I feel like you read between the lines, Aries. Like, you know what people are trying to do. You know what they're saying. You know their motives by the way they speak or what, the way they carry themselves. So you understood this person, like, right off the bat. I see. I feel like as soon as they open their mouth, you're like, mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> Keep talking. Like, I feel like you just, like, you're, you're psychoanalyzing them. Are you a Virgo? Are you, you a Virgo on your chart? You got heavy Virgo placements. Because, like, Virgos, they psychoanalyze the fuck out of people. They're full-on mediums. Like, they're full-on, like, seriously, they are. They're full-on mediums, okay? Especially, like, Virgo moons. They like no. They be like no and shit. <laughs> Aquarius, okay. Aquarius is I know. Yeah, fucking a man. I don't know where somebody has this in their chart. Okay, all right. Let me get one oracle message before I go. Aries, I love you guys. You guys beat Pisces. That's why you're number one today. Hey, as it should be. As it should be, all right? Pisces has been number one for five years running, y'all, okay? It's, it's time for a new king. It's time for a new king. Like, where, where you at, Aries? Where you at? <laughs> Fucking A, man. They've been, I'm serious, they've been number one for so long. We have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love, yes. Act in the energy of love. We already know that, Aries. You are the highest, you are the number, you are number one sign, okay? I know you could have some Leo in your chart. Leo is the house of love. Fifth house is love. Um, creativity. I feel like you're very creative at this time. You feel very creative, especially right now. Like if you, oh gosh, okay. Like Pisces season is going to be very, it's a very, very creative time. All right. Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter. So um, it's a good time to get, you know, especially 10th house. You got 10th house energy here with the, yeah, with the devil. And it's mirroring this princess of cups. So it's double confirmation. Like there's, it's a good time to look at things. Okay, look at things um, that need looked at. I'm hearing something about your business. You need to look over your, um, I'm hearing uh, inventory, if this is what you're managing, inventory. Um, look at something that you don't need anymore. Look at something that's not work, not working out. I'm hearing looking at something that nobody's buying and then get rid of it, okay? Yeah, I'm saying that you guys need to do some, like, I'm hearing I'm something about Virgo. Virgo needs to, like, the energy of Virgo is really here, okay? I know Virgo's not in the reading, but I feel like the energy of Virgo is very here. It could be the moon. It could have been the moon. I don't know, the Virgo moon. But, yeah, I'm seeing, like, you guys doing introspection and looking around and seeing what you can work on and make better. Um, during that time, as you do perfect your music or your art, whatever it is you're doing, um, I see, like, a lot of people coming for you, Aries. Yeah, like, it seems like the higher you climb, the more the trolls, they just start coming out. I don't want to see a bunch of people coming out of the graveyard, like, <laughs> you know, like, the, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to make that noise. But you guys know, like, the, the zombies that come out of the ground, like, <laughs> walking all over. <laughs> I see that shit. I feel like they're coming out of nowhere, and you're like, excuse me, where were you when I was down? Like, okay, now they, now it, they just tell them themselves. Okay, I feel like a lot of success is coming for you guys, um, especially with the four of wands. This talks about spec. This talks about a spiritual awakening. It also talks about celebration. This could talk about tw uh, twin flames, but I do see a trophy when I look at this. I also see an hourglass, okay? Um, what else do I see? I wrote a lot of stuff on here. This could be a wedding. What else did I write? Divinely guided, yes, love. And yeah, love is a four-letter word. Um, yeah, interesting that that's, that's on this card, right? I know that there is no, no greater goal than to love. That's the definition of success, I suppose, right? Everyone has their own definition of success, but I feel like love is the ultimate goal in life, right? Yeah. 
I love you guys. All right. Um, we're going to get out of here. Check out your free personal readings down below. Um, they are the second, third, and fourth link, you guys. And if you guys haven't checked out the new merchandise, check it out. It's over there on the channel. Um, got some new merch for those who are Geminis or Gemini Risings. Okay. Um, Gemini Genius uh, Swimsuits. Yes, I've been working my ass off over there. <laughs> so go check out the new merch. I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.